Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Monday. Today is Monday, October 17th. I'm sorry I was a minute late. I went to make my coffee and didn't put a coffee mug under the coffee spout. So <laughs> I was just running a little late this morning. Good to be with all of you on this Monday morning. Um, starting off today, that was James David Carter singing Open My Eyes. Um, today we're going to be looking at Jeremiah 17, and this is uh, actually a passage uh, in this beautiful painting that is on my son's, uh, the wall of my son's room. Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8. So um, let me say good morning to all of you. It's good to be with you. Good morning, Barbara and Celia. Good to have you both here today, keeping you both in prayer. And Jacqueline and Daniel, I'm glad you're with us too, praying for you today. Good morning, Donna and Macon. Welcome, holding you in prayer today. And Michelle and Celia, I'm glad you're with us too, praying for you today. Good morning, Gail and Vinette. Welcome. Praying for you this morning. And Yolette and Shelly. It's good to have you with us. Praying for both of you. Good morning, Janet and Beatrice. I am glad you're with us today. Holding you in prayer. And Sheila and Barbara Dawson. I'm glad you're both here. Holding both of you in prayer. Good morning, Jerry and Labake. It's good to have you here praying for you today. And good morning, Ingrid. Always good to have you with us, holding you in prayer as well. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> good morning, Marilyn. It's good to have you with us as well this morning as we start our day together praying for you. So today we are looking at Jeremiah. 17 verses 7 through 8 and our devotion today is entitled the virtue of flexibility the virtue of flexibility now i'm not sure if these are completely connected these two but i will find a way that they will be interconnected so as you turn in your bibles to jeremiah 17 my name is cindy stauffer i am blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And our building is located on the corner of George and Liberty Street in the heart of the city of New Brunswick. Uh, but our church is throughout, throughout, not just New Jersey either. So uh, I know today we've got people coming from all over the country. Good morning, Blanca. It's good to have you with us too. So let's take a look at Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree 
planted by the water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious and it does not cease to bear fruit. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord, whose trust, sorry, whose trust is the Lord. So the virtue of flexibility. Trees look strong compared with the wild reeds in the field. But when the storm comes, the trees are uprooted, whereas the wild reeds, while moving back and forth by the wind, remain rooted and stand up again after the storm has calmed down. Flexibility is a great virtue. When we cling to our own positions and are not willing to let our hearts be moved back and forth a little by the ideas or actions of others, we may easily be broken. Being like wild reeds does not mean being wishy-washy. It means moving a little with the winds of the time while remaining solidly anchored in the ground. A humorless, intense, opinionated rigidity about current issues might cause them to break our spirits and make us bitter people. So let's be flexible while being deeply rooted. Let's be flexible while being deeply rooted. Um, gosh, it's probably going on 12 years ago. 12 years ago, I was taking a class on the book of Job in seminary. Uh, it was around that time that my mother became sick with brain cancer. And my professor had done his doctoral thesis. Some of you have heard this story. My professor has, had done his doctoral thesis on the book of Job when his brother was dying of the same brain cancer that my mother had. Now, I didn't know that when I took the book of Job. Honestly, when I signed up for the book of Job, I didn't even know my mother had brain cancer. So taking this class was very challenging, not just because my mother was sick, um, not, not just because it felt a little bit like I was moving into a Job moment, although I wasn't, um, but it challenged a lot of my understanding of God. There were people in the class that were not theologians, they were uh, in, they weren't even in the seminary, but they took the class because they were intrigued and, and ready to challenge God at every, every moment. Uh, and some of the things that they said, I thought were really kind of good. And other things I thought, well, okay, but yeah, I don't, I don't see it that way. Uh, it brought me to see new things. Uh, but one day when I was in chapel, a woman from the class came up to me and she said, how are you not losing your faith in the midst of this class and all that's coming up? And I was like, well, why would I lose my faith? <laughs> like my faith is strongly rooted. Anything that's said in here may help me see something new, but it doesn't change that my faith is deeply rooted in God because I knew that God was holding me through that time. I also knew that it was the same thing for my professor and all the readings just helped me see differently. And I wasn't completely persuaded by other members in the, in the class, although 
it did help me understand them and how they saw God, but it didn't change that. And I, I share this story with you because there will always be things that we, we need to see differently. We have to be willing and it doesn't change our faith because our faith, if we go back to Jeremiah, blessed are those who trust in the Lord whose trust is the Lord. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord. That is the first, and that's where we begin, so strongly rooted. And that allows us to be open to see the fullness of God. And maybe not to be so stubborn and inflexible. Because sometimes other people help us to see, even if they are not strongly rooted in God, they may help us to see something new. Maybe it isn't about faith. Maybe it's other things. Uh, I, I believe the more we are willing to listen to one another, not that we always agree with one another, but the more that we are willing to listen to one another, the more we're able to see the picture more fully, the picture that God wants us to see. So where are the places in your life where you have gotten a little stubborn and inflexible, unwilling to bend, and God might be calling you to listen maybe a little more deeply to somebody who sees things differently than you. It doesn't mean that you change. Well, maybe, maybe just a little bit, but it does get us to be more connected to one another and maybe see the bigger picture that God wants us to see as well. So today, keep your eyes open. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Let us pray. God, we come before you today aware that too often, we have been, been so stubborn, so stubbornly rooted in what we believe is the truth and the way that we have missed you, missed seeing your presence in other places. And sometimes it is that stubbornness that breaks us. Forgive us, Lord, and help us to be rooted in the streams of life. Help us to be like the wild reeds that are able to bend and move and be flexible. Help us, Lord, not to be wishy-washy, but to be rooted first in you and then open and able to see the fullness, to see your face, to hear your voice in the places that we never thought we could or in the places that we've been unwilling to believe you dwell as well. Help us, Lord, to be open to see your face this day. We ask all of this, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, where might you encounter God's presence and hear maybe something different that might open your eyes and your heart and your mind? God loves you, my friends. And so do I. Have a very blessed day and I will see you back here tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I'll remember to make my coffee correctly. <laughs> have, have a good day, my friends. Bye.